Hi guys, my name's Chris, and as you can see, the weather is uh, rubbish. So um, I'm going to be doing a quick video today. Uh, I've had quite a few guys asking for more you know, actual weapons shooting videos, see a few different weapons are used um, less often. Uh, so I've got my uh, KJW 1022 here. I've uh, done a little bit of work to it. I've got full length Horror Take Out a Barrel on it. I actually did a, a video on this particular gun before. You can click here to watch that one. But then I had the stock in a barrel, which only went to about there. Got full length tight ball now, goes right up to the end. I just put the RA Tech hot bucking into it uh, about two days ago. I haven't fired it since then. So I've just got a few mags I'm just going to put through it to get the, uh, get the rubber bedded in. And, uh, right, so let's see how it goes. So yeah, that's that. Pretty good performance on the older gas efficiency side of things with this rifle, um, considering it's not exactly hot and the weather isn't too favourable today, uh, as you can probably hear by the sound of the rain hitting the plastic cover I've got on the camera there. Uh, great thing about this particular weapon is that it is a fun little gun to use and it's cheap. You can pick these up for about $200 in the HK stores um, and it, because it's such a simple mechanism. The bolt here is very small and light compared to some gas blow back rifles. So you get a lot more reliability out of it um, in the long term. It, it's a lot, like I say, it's just a lot simpler. Less parts than, say, a gas blowback M4, whichever brand you, you, know, you might be thinking of. It is. There's less weight moving back and forward when the, with the bolt there, so there's less stress on the parts themselves less maintenance work you need to do. One thing, one part I have added to this I've got to mention earlier is this little bit here. That's the RA Tech uh, tactical magazine catch. Basically what it enables you to do is when you do come to a magazine change, I'll show you one here. You've got your magazine fitted, you fire last shot and the working parts lock to the rear like that. You look over, you see, yep, chamber and the magazine empty of rounds, so it's time for a reload. Spin it over here, up in your workspace. Now usually, with the standard magazine catch, you have to reach up here and use your thumb, a bit like an AK, to take the mag out. With this system, I mean, I prefer it with this catch. It's quite easy to install, it doesn't cost a lot amount, large amount of money. All you do is you just use your middle finger here, and just press down like that, that frees the magazine. You don't, you're not having to uh, specifically reach up there. You're just using your uh, actual right hand, if you're right-handed, of course. It is ambidextrous, but it's designed, as you can see. It just means that when you come up to grab a magazine, it's already free, so you just, you just take it out. You don't have to worry about actually actuating the magazine catch. So yeah, between, uh, between the increased length tight ball there, or a tech hot bucket, but it'll change to the magazine catch itself. Pretty effective weapon for not a lot of money, quite fun to use. Not the best all year round, admittedly, and it won't give you the same accuracy as like a 500 FPS bolt action spring rifle. But really lightweight, as you can see, you can toss this in, all the stock's plastic. There's not, not even 
I mean, what needs to be metal is metal. It's, it's solidly constructed, but there's not much to it. It's very thin. So it makes a really easy weapon to skirmish with. A bit limited by the magazine capacity. Even the long mags only hold 30 rounds, which isn't ideal, but still good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm uh, going to go inside. See you later.